Hello Jurassic Park action figure collectors and fans, it's Filmmaker Mike and welcome to another Jurassic Park action figure review. And so, here we go. Alright, so for this Jurassic Park action figure review, I have a Dino Tracker set of it. Desert Tracker Alan Grant versus the Velociraptor. And so, you got a good look at the front packaging right there. Dino Trackers with working Dino Claw. And of course, there's Dr. Alan Grant with the Velociraptor, only a Toys R Us exclusive sticker. Really cool Jurassic Park logo and the T-Rex. And of course, you've got the Raptor right here. Danger level is really high as well. DNA sequence 912-A-58462-S. So, on the back, we've got right here, Desert Tracker Alan corners a Velociraptor in the park's detention area. He lunges with his Dino Claw as a Raptor strikes. So... Got here, name Alan Grant, classification, scientist, adventurer, specialty, dinosaur tracking, paleontology, weapon, JP2900, electrified dino claw, velociraptor, power 4, intelligence 9, speed 8, special, claw slash. So, really cool. So you got a good look at the front and the back. Now, it's time to open up Dr. Alan Grant versus the velociraptor. And so, here we go. So we'll pull this apart, just like that. Very easy. And then I'm going to pop out the electric dino claw. Dr. Alan Grant. And the Velociraptor. Alright, so we're going to take a look first at the Velociraptor. Let me pan down a little bit. Alright. So we're going to take a look at the Velociraptor. And of course, these are not to scale with the figures. These are smaller dinosaurs, so um, very good likeness, as you can see from the side. That is definitely a raptor, and very nice paint job. And again, unfortunately, no articulation, and uh, you know it, it does look like a baby raptor because they're not to scale. Um, it would be nice, at least, if you know if they made the raptor at least as tall as the humans, as tall as Dr. Alan Grant. But oh well. So hopefully we get to see more scaled raptors in the future, especially when we have Jurassic Park 4. But of course you've got the signature um, claws of the raptor right there on the bottom. And again, very nice paint apps. You've got the JP logo on both sides. So, pretty cool. And of course the raptor is facing that way. So, you can easily have them like jump or attack. So there's the raptor and here's Dr. Alan Grant. And I gotta say, the likeness is pretty darn cool. It's pretty darn good. It, it does look like a younger Sam Neill uh, from certain angles. It does definitely look like a, a young Dr. Alan Grant. Although the hair shouldn't be black, it should be a little brown. And uh, they, they should have added a hat on. But he does have his scarf right there. And uh, pretty, pretty nice likeness. I like the folds and the clothes and all the ruffles. And he does have a uh, torn up... Tore up uh, you know, right leg and even his his left leg is tore up right there. Would have been nice to see some wounds or some you know some blood or something. Well, not really blood because that might not be good for the kids. But um, yeah, pretty posed. You know, um, the arms and the legs are are pretty much uh, posed already. Uh, articulation again, five point articulation, uh, swivel neck, uh, swivel shoulders, and of course swivel hips. And that's it. Five point articulation. Basic articulation, but you know, the figure is still pretty cool, I gotta say. And uh, to get Dr. Alan Grant, that's still pretty cool. And he's got gloves as well. It's just, you know, it would have been nice if he had at least a hat on. Something that, you know, he was known for. Um, so, or at least his hair would be a little more accurate. But still pretty cool. And of course, his Dino Claw. You can easily hold it. And uh, just like the other Dino Claw for the Forest Hunter General. You can easily uh, hold on to it like a gun and use it against the raptor okay so unfortunately it doesn't seem to go well with the left hand I think it's the right hand is, is a better fit and it looks really big of course and so when the raptor attacks rah, just the claw opens up and sm snaps and locks up the raptor just like that and slams him down there you go so there it is there's Dr. Alan Grant versus the Velociraptor with Dino Claw really cool set um, definitely a must add or a must get if you're a Jurassic Park fan at least these are the only action figures the newer ones that we have available it'd be nice to have some newer ones uh, Jurassic Park 4 and I 
again, I do hope that they do a throwback to the to the original movie, at least the first two movies uh, to, with, with the characters. But who knows who uh, will be cast in the fourth movie. It would be nice to see the original cast return and get some, you know, uh, throwback characters, uh, some action figures with their characters and um, more scaled dinosaurs. At least this raptor should be as tall as the human. It only makes sense, or even taller. So, but anyway, still pretty cool. Hope you all enjoy this uh, action figure review. And again, I think you can, uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, this same pack is still available at Toys R Us. They did repackage it uh, at Toys R Us, $9.99. And there's other sets that are available as well. So check it out at Toys R Us, and uh, hopefully you add it and you enjoy it. Thank you all for watching. Please feel free to click on the thumbs up button right below. Like, favorite, rate, comment, subscribe. And feel free to also check my check out my other review of the uh, Forest Hunter General versus T-Rex, or Baby T-Rex, and my Jurassic Park 3D movie review. And until then, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.